In this video, we'll take a look at vision. Every civilization known to man has had a god, a hope, or a vision. In the business world, people have a vision or a hope for a positive, profitable future. A vision is an understanding of your reason for existence and your concept of how that existence can reach maximum reward. It's your constitution, your guidebook, your target. Everything in the organization gets filtered through the vision. The question you ask yourself as a leader is, will you guide that vision or will the culture find a vision on its own? In business, every vision should include profit. But profit has two sides to it, financial and social. Financial profit, of course, is earning money. But social profit is equally as important. It is measured by the value you give your community. The reason it's important because if your community trusts you, they will turn over financial profit. Thus, the two are symbiotic. You can't have one without the other. For a profit business, you must have successful financial profit to thrive. But if a business forgets about the social profit side, they will lose all chance and all trust of gaining that financial profit. This is important internally as well. Employees will not want to work for a company that portrays itself strictly financially. Even nonprofit organizations where social profit seeks to bring a societal change, financial profit is very important so that you can pay for the cost associated with creating such a change. So companies' vision must encompass profit, both social and financial. Many organizations, unfortunately, don't understand that people assign meaning to the company vision in different ways. For example, executives in a boardroom will view vision differently than a person working on the front counter, the sales rep in the field, or even someone in production. To the executive, when they look at a profit and loss statement, profit is determined by assets minus liabilities. To the front counter employee, sales rep, or even janitor, the company's announcement to increase profits might create fears of cutbacks, reductions, and layoffs. Everyone should agree on the macro level of vision, but the pass of communication may differ. That's why a strategic communication plan is so vital. Simply put, without a plan, you don't control the messaging within your culture. You've heard the phrase, where there is no vision, the people will perish. That same applies to business. Where there is no vision, the business will go bankrupt. Sadly, many employees don't know their company vision. So they aren't able to actively help you further the focus and the purpose. Without a clear vision, employees will develop their own interpretation, which will likely create hidden agendas, conflict, and misunderstandings. Your vision is your constitution. It should be promoted throughout the hiring process, considered when making policy, and also included in every aspect of your organization. All decisions must be tested against the vision. A true vision is inspirational, and it's a great target for your entire organization.